actually build the bikes here. This is a crazy one that a kid made. This was a Cadillac Cruiser, a young man who had two girlfriends and wanted to carry them out for the afternoons or whatever. What's really unique about this place, this is a publicly funded school. So it's taxpayer-based school, and it's probably the only bicycle school for middle and high school kids. Well, probably one of the few in the country. And this space is our rideable museum. This tall bike was made, built by a student here. They're above the traffic. You get a certain kind of respect in traffic. If you ever fall off, you can just run across the top of the cars. Kids just like to take chances, I guess. And then we have different styles of recumbents. This is above the seat steering. This over, <coughs> over here is below the seat, under the seat steering. See how it turns. Some people find this more comfortable just because they're used to a steering wheel in their hand, I think. But if you get used to the under the seat steering, it's a little more relaxed. Your hands just hang. So we have the low tricycle, which is uh, very fun and goes very fast in corners. And this is a swift folder. This is a folding bike. It pivots right off of here. You pull the seat post out. And this is the phaser, which is a recumbent version of it. You can actually pull the seat post out of this and pivot this. So that's kind of cool for traveling purposes. They can fit in a suitcase. Both of them will fit in a suitcase. This is our work tricycle, our heavy duty work tricycle. This is the, the thing that can carry the most weight of anything we build, just about. This is front wheel drive and front steering. Well, it's just kind of cool that you can you can ride down the street, no hands. So you can drink your coffee and read your paper as you're doing your distribution. You can take this container off. This seat will fit on there. So this is a pedicab. So we pulled this out, cleaned it up because the couple's renting it for a wedding. This is our biggest trailer here, and this has had 900 pounds on it. I moved by bicycle with that large trailer that Jan just showed you. When we came here, that tree was delivered on a bicycle trailer, one of our trailers, and it was pretty amazing watching it go down the street on a bike trailer. This is a space where you can come in and you can pay $8 an hour or $50 a year for unlimited access. You know, you don't have to have all the tools. If you don't know what you're doing, you can hire us and we'll tell you what we know. We make ponchos. What's cool about them is that they have a place for your hand to go into. And you can put your hand in here and, and hold the handlebars. So they keep your legs covered, which is really the cool feature of ponchos. We also make helmet covers and hoods and booties. We build bike racks. One of the things that I think is really important in any city is to have infrastructure. And this city is really good in that it has a law that if you do new construction, renovation, you have to put a bike rack in. It's based on what your capacity, how many people are gonna be coming to your, your restaurant or whatever. So that's a pretty cool law.